Hey, what's up guys? It's good morning. It's Philip here and uh, listen guys, I am so pumped for this. You have no idea. So uh, listen guys, I haven't been announcing anything and uh, I haven't been telling anybody anything about anything. And uh, so now I'm telling you, I'm gonna document my life and uh, what I do on a daily basis to hopefully help as many of you guys as possible, help you, guide you, and educate you on how to change your life financially, not only for you, but your family as well. So I'm gonna document, I have a, a guy here helping me, Nick, uh, my, my good friend holding the camera here, and uh, we simply gonna document my, my life, my everyday life, so you can see how I act, and what I do, and the way I think, and what I do for work, like, and how much I actually put into it. Because, let's be honest here guys, if you want to make $5,000 a month or something like that, you're probably not gonna make it. Because it's never gonna change your life any more than it probably is right now. Yeah, maybe just a little bit, right? So, but if you want to make like $100,000 a month, if you want to buy your mom a new car, if you want to uh, help your dad out when he is sick, uh, if uh, a tragedy happens to your family, uh, if uh, the house burned down like happened with my dad, uh, and if you want to be able to help them, you need way more than just $5,000 a month. So uh, what I did when I started, I was uh, watching all of the successful people on YouTube uh, every morning, every evening, and I just adopted the way they thought uh, that work ethic and uh, things started to move for me. And uh, listen guys, in two and a half years, I went from $20,000 in debt, living in a basement apartment in Denmark, to now, two and a half years later, to make over $15 million online and move into a nice villa here on the Palm in Dubai. And uh, it's not to brag, because it is a little bit bragging, but I'm proud of it as well, because I haven't just changed my life, but I've changed the life of hundreds of my students uh, and my mom, my dad, my brother and my family. Uh, if you didn't know, I was re recently in Denmark visiting uh, my dad. He is very sick with, uh, with cancer, 66 years old, so that sucks. So I had to take a flight home to Denmark and uh, because that was maybe the last time I'm ever gonna see my dad. And uh, I was able to uh, give him around 7,000 US dollars just because so he could uh, buy some nicer things, some better food for himself you know, during these times here. And uh, while being in Denmark, I also bought my mom a new car, right, and, and Mercedes AMG. Uh, and uh, I also gave my brother a gift, right? and. Uh, it touched them a lot and it helped them out a lot and uh, it doesn't really touch my wallet but it means so much for them and it means a lot for me too right that's why i'm doing it and if you want to do anything similar as what i just told you right these videos are going to be for you right and uh, i'm not here trying to sell you anything right i'm just here trying to help you and actually get you some results because no matter what you're doing, if you join the program I have or if you join any other program, you need to act a certain way. And what I have learned is success leaves clues, okay? So if you actually just listen and just follow along and starting to mimic my actions and my mindset, okay, it's gonna help you dramatically in your life and the life of your family. So uh, listen guys, we're gonna do uh, a bunch of stuff. We're gonna work a lot. We're gonna go to the gym and uh, we're gonna talk. We're gonna have interviews. We're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff here. So uh, yeah guys, I'm super pumped for it. So uh, let's get it. You're not cooking by yourself? What? No, absolutely not. Time is money, man. And, uh, also, when we're doing these videos here, right, we're also gonna put on weight because I've been flying around to Denmark and back again and 
moving into this uh, villa here and had advisors visiting me and you name it so i haven't been working out that much so it's time to get back in shape and we're gonna do that with some good ass food man stop there we go <laughs> Listen, guys. When when you when you have over fifty people working for you, like you are constantly, I'm constantly sitting and uh, texting and uh, meetings and uh, advisors and lawyers and uh, you name it. So uh, you don't see this on uh, on Instagram, right? You only see the highlights of uh, of my life, right? And that's that's uh, mainly because uh, that's the reason for many people. Uh, not aware of what it actually takes to become successful, right? Because they think they, it's about uh, private jets and a Rolls Royce and uh, laying in the swimming pool and you make money and so on. And that is far from the truth, right? And uh, that's what these videos is about, to give you a true insight of what it actually takes to, to reach new heights in your life. and. Uh, those people that are willing to do whatever it takes to get it, right? Those are the ones that are actually gonna make it. Let's get it. Hey, what's up guys? So uh, let me know once it's fixed. Thank you. You're on your phone the whole time, huh? All the time, man. All the time. I'm working 24 seven. And that's also why I was able to make 3.3 million dollars cash collected last month, right? Because I do whatever it takes to get it. So, uh, listen, man, we're gonna we're gonna go for for drive. We wait for the maid. We need to get cleaned here, man. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, guys, that was Anna, super sweet. And uh, she's helping out here in the villa a lot already, and uh, I appreciate the help uh, she has because uh, think about it, think about how much time you you spend on uh, cleaning the sheets, uh, cleaning the kitchen, uh, washing windows, uh, cleaning the pool, uh, you name it. Go out with trash, a uh, new uh, bag in a trash can, all of these things here at time. And listen. Time is the only thing you don't get more of. You can always get more girlfriends, you can always get more wives, you can always get more cars, you can always get more money. But the only thing you can't get more of is time. And right now, for many of you guys, time is running out, right? Time is running out. Uh, people are keep adding time to everything, right? They are adding time to making a decision. They are making time to start that business. They are making time to to think about uh, how to plan for what meal you should eat when you want to build muscle. Just fucking Google it, or you make a YouTube, uh, watch a YouTube video about it, and then decide. Because the last thing I learned from my mentor that you want to add to anything is time, right? The faster you can make a decision and the faster you can take action, the faster you're gonna get the results. So stop wasting time. What's up, man? Are we ready? Yes, what are we up to? Gonna go to pick up some stuff and we're gonna get some tan. Even while we live here in Dubai where it's 40 degrees, uh, you can't go outside and lay in the sun. It's it's so damn hot. It's crazy. So uh, I'm gonna take my clown. So uh, Anna, yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna go for a drive. Okay. Okay. You got the key. Yeah, yeah. Have a lovely. Amazing. We will be back in one or two hours or okay. something. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, right? Come. Well, This is the street, right? And there's just buildings getting built everywhere here, new houses. There was a house here further down the street, right? And uh, I saw that there was the, the garage. It's under the house, so they drive under it with the cars. That's like, that's sick. 
I want that shit, right? And uh, further down the street, all the way to the end of this, uh, on the palm, there was a house. The uh, real estate said it was sold for three or four million dollars at the end here with like four, four swimming pools. And then I asked him for fun, right? Is there a helicopter pad on it as well? And then she laughed, yes, there is. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here, right? And this is the car. This is the car, McLaren 720 S, something like that, I think. Super cool. Super cool. Let's open the door here. Pretty sick, right? And there is literally no comfort in this car here at all. But <laughs> it's fun to drive, very fun to drive. So many of you guys uh, actually don't know, but uh, I'm not buying these cars here. I'm I'm renting them. And uh, the reason for it is because I just said, like I said earlier, that time, right? If you buy a car like this, you need to maintain it. You need to brakes. You need to service you need to oil you need to check up on the engine and all of those things and all of those things takes time so right now since i were a little kid i always wanted to be a formula one driver that was my biggest dream in life to be a formula one driver but i weren't allowed to uh, go to go-kart and do it's like the training on to get to the next level and then the next level and the next level because it was too expensive to go to go-kart but i always dreamt about driving cars like this so i have i actually have a whole list of cars i want to drive and here in dubai if you have money it's a very co fun country to live in very fun because you can literally just rent all of the cars and you can rent them for a day or you can rent them for for a month so right now i'm renting last time it was a lamborghini aventador now it's this McLaren here and I'm renting them for a month at a time because then I figure out which one I actually want to have uh, before I actually go by. So uh, who knows? Stay tuned and we're probably gonna get a new car at some point. But uh, let's go man. People know that back in the days when I took a lot of bad shit, then it fucked up my my body so much. So I need some pills to fix it. And uh, I even tried to get surgery for it, but they said that uh, Philip, you can risk to die if we if we do it. Then I'm like, fuck. Okay, what then? Then then uh, the doctors just said that. Uh, and the doctors just said that I need to uh, take pills every day for the rest of my life. And then I'm like, fuck, okay. So uh, listen guys, don't do, uh, don't do drugs, right? Don't do drugs, it, f it fucks you up. And what is this car doing? What is it doing? Oh my God, what is it doing? He says this is the air brake. Air brake? Yeah. What is an air brake? He says, don't worry. <laughs> hey man, I turn it off and on uh, many times and it still comes on. The car is moving if I press the speed on, but uh, 
it literally says stop vehicle. So I don't want to break it. Day in the life of having a supercar, man. Day in the life of having a goddamn supercar. What the F? He says, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, he's not the one driving the goddamn car, right? He can say whatever he wants. So, so this car is so low, right? Yeah. That you can't you can't drive over a bump like this. You see on the road right there, you can't drive over it. Really? Uh, yes. So there is like an air suspension that can lift the car in the front, and it's not working. The air suspension is not working, so we can we can. We can't get past that bump, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're trapped in here. We are trapped on the bump, god damn it. It's not fucking working, man. And this is why I rent the cars, right? Because I don't have to fix the fucking suspension failure shit, right? Uh, brother, when you turn it off, lock it. Wait uh, 10 minutes, now when you reach your destination. After that, when you come down, it will call this uh, pizza. So this is exactly why I found the best guy on planet Earth to rent car at. It's Ryan at Luxury Supercars. I'm not getting paid to say that. So, um, and he says that I just need to cool it down for 10 minutes. If it doesn't work, I get a new car. How, so, how can we cool it down in this heat? That's a good motherfucking question, man. <laughs> Shit. And the best thing about this, there's no place to put anything in this car. <laughs> Maybe if we drive it back and forth so we can get some air. I don't know. Here I am talking about time, right? And then this shit happens on goddamn camera. <laughs> it works! It worked! God damn, Ryan from Supercars has right. Okay, let's go, man. And then we go out of the driveway. And then it says it again. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> See, I can do this all day, every day. <laughs> Don't tell me a, a man doesn't want to drive a car like this every day. Oh, there was a speed came on. Did you see that? Oh, 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 oh what's close, man? <laughs> but listen. You the trouble? It's crazy. <laughs> So every morning, right, I I check uh, in with the students and uh, and see if they have posted some result or something like that, right? And uh, then we had uh, had this guy here, Mark. He was uh, he got like uh, 128 free leads in a day because he got a, a semi-viral video on Instagram, right, for free. And uh, he said in this uh, post in the Facebook group that uh, that he have tried many other uh, programs that never actually got him any results. And and then that's not just that one guy, right? Because there is many of these every single day inside the program, which is awesome, right? And uh, we also had another one, a truck driver. He was uh, shooting his video, a uh, simple short form video in his truck right and while he then posted it on instagram and uh, and then he drove for like another eight hours and the video got like four thousand views first time he ever done anything like it right and and this is what i talk about with time as well because if you want to make money right and a lot of it you need to find a way where you don't trade time for money you need something that just runs for you so you only have to do it a few times it may be gonna take you an an hour to do but then it's gonna work for you for eight hours right makes sense and uh, hope it makes sense for you guys listening right and uh, and then we also had Berta 
right? Berta is a mom with two kids from Spain who uh, started this eight months ago and made over, uh, I think, $800,000 or something like that in, in eight months, starting from zero, right? And uh, she can barely speak English or anything, but she took a lot of action to get there, right? And that's what many people don't get, right? If, if you see my result and if you see I'm driving in a car like this and you also want it, then you should ask yourself, what are you doing to accomplish anything, right? Are you working when you go back from home, uh, back from work? Do you work on your side hustle? Or do you work on getting better at a skill, sales, how to use social media, anything. You're probably not doing anything to get it, right? And when I was working as a plumber for like 10, 12 hours a day, guess what? I was tired like everybody else, right? Oh my God, Philip, I'm tired, I don't got time. No, and you're especially running out of time if you don't grab your goddamn balls and do something about it, right? So I was tired when I got back from home, uh, back from work, and I didn't want to do it, but I just needed to do it, okay? If I wanted to get a better life for myself and my family, I needed to make it work. And I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed a sleep. I sacrificed a lot of sleep, right? And to this day, I still do. I don't sleep that much. And guess what? Berta who made $11,000 in 30 hours here the other day. She also worked a lot to get there. A lot, right? So listen guys, it's not gonna happen overnight and nobody's gonna come do it for you. You need to do it, right? You need to put in the work and you need to put in a lot of work and you need to be willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Let's get it. To find a goddamn training center, man. A <laughs> what? A training center. Why? Because I don't got time to lay 20 minutes in the sun, sun, and especially not when it's this goddamn hot here, man. It's crazy. There we have it. How do we get in here? That was nice. It's even hotter down out here than in there. <laughs> and uh, listen guys, it just proof that if you simply just have an idea, then you just go with it, right? Who would know that you can make money starting a tanning center in Dubai where the sun is literally with no, there's no, no cloud on the sky. And they, there is a lot of these tanning centers in Dubai. So, uh, so listen guys, it's just about go do it, right? Take action and take massive action. What I learned from my mentor is attention equals money, right? So the only thing this comes down to is that people know there is a training center right here. Okay, we talk about Google, we talk about social media. We just talk about the more people that know the name of you or the brand, the more money you make. It's that simple. So it's all about making more attention. The more attention you can make, the more money you make. All right, so it's busy. And now I have a, a meeting with my advisor, right? And then we need to shoot the podcast, right? We need to shoot a, a new podcast. We're gonna get uh, into that shit again. God damn it, right? And uh, what else? Then I have another meeting. And then I have another meeting with the lawyer here later. I'm telling you guys, when you when you reach a certain point, right, and you make millions every month, then then you can fucking fart without you have to fucking have a lawyer, you know, because uh, people are people are crazy, and some people just can't handle when other people have success. So they are just trying to bring you down all the time. So, but guess what? The motherfuckers is gonna lose, right? So. Uh, it is what it is, and uh, it's part of the game. 
and uh, it's about uh, being uh, ruthless and relentless. Especially if people try to bring you down, then they are going down, right? Uh, so yeah, man, it, it is what it is, and uh, it's about doing whatever it takes to to reach it. And that's what it's about, right? It's freedom and uh, what money can get you time with your family. So uh, listen guys, check out this free video and see how they do it. Hey, what's going on? It's funny because uh, people say you can't make money using social media. That's funny when they say it because I literally made all of my money because of social media. Like literally all of them, right? And if you see Ty Lopez, if you see Greg Gadone, if you see uh, Tony Robbins, they make all of their money through social media. So it's all about model success. Look at the most successful people in whatever industry you are in, in your niche, and see what they do on social media to get your name and brand out there. Because the more attention you can get, the more money you make. The more money, the more people that know my name, right? The more money I make. It literally that simple. And people are so scared to go do it that nobody knows who they are, right? They maybe have two friends on Facebook, right? It doesn't matter. Like, uh, I didn't have Facebook when I started this journey here, okay? I started it because my mentor told me I need to get on social media. But I didn't have social media, so guess what? I started one, okay? I started from scratch like everybody else is doing. Grant Cadone started from scratch. Tony Robbins started from scratch. Ty Lopez started from scratch. Everybody starts from zero, including me and including everybody else, right? So don't compare your level one to somebody's level 50, okay? So my advice is what I did, what I personally did, I found like three or five people that have done what I wanted to do and then I watched them. I followed them on social media, all of their social media. I opted into their emails. I read their emails. I saw what kind of offers they promoted. I saw how, what they did in their stories on Instagram. I did. I saw what they did on their post on Instagram. I saw how they connected with the audience. I saw how they started to promote their offers through stories on Instagram. And I saw that's how they made money from social media. So. It's not, it's not for fun when you see all of these motivation videos on, on YouTube that, that all of them say model success, right? And, and then you'll be like, but Philip, I don't want to be a copycat. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you're not a copycat, right? But you just model success. Think about it. How many cameras have that been made? The first ever camera that was created how many times do you think somebody modeled that idea and made it better? And then a better, and then better, and better, and better, and better. It comes with anything, lights, tables, chairs, you name it, ships, cars, okay? The very first car, how many times have that been modeled and just been better and better? Then Ferrari made a sports car, the very first sports car. Guess what? Lamborghini took the same idea right and turn it into something in my opinion better right so jeff bezos even did it right with his bookstore so it's he just took an idea and made it better and you do the same so whatever you see if you find three or five people on social media you see what they're doing you mimic it and just turn it a little bit better right okay so if I should start with no money, if I had no money, if I was broke, if I was living on the street, right? I will find these three or five people that have done what you want to do. And then you model exactly what they do. Okay. And you, if you put in the work, you will get the similar results as they got. $10 million award, man. Needs right. to be hung, hung up. Yes, for sure. You proud of that? For sure, man. But it's also hard work. Right? I'm almost at the, at the 25 million. It goes fast. It goes crazy fast. 
25 million. But it's a, uh, it's also momentum, right? If you like start from all the beginning, then I was like, I was two years where I worked a lot, where I didn't make any money, not a cent, right? I tried, 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 and nothing. I did no money, no nothing. I was just spending money and spending money. I sold my clothes, I sold my shoes, I sold my belts, I sold my sunglasses, I sold everything to afford to try to build the business, right? And uh, most people aren't willing to do that. Most people give up after the first try. The first time they fall off their bike, right? They give up and say, I'm never gonna jump that bike again. I'm never gonna try. And uh, you're never gonna be good at anything if you just give up the first time, right? Because if you revert back to the bike, then first time you jump on it, you have somebody to hold uh, the, the rear of it, like your dad or your mom or or who else, uh, right, to help you guide it. And the moment he lets go, you fall off, right? So the same with business, but then you jump on the bike again, you get some more help, right? You get some more help and then he let go, then you maybe can do it for like five meters and then you fall again, right? And then people give up. You maybe get a little scar, you maybe bleed a little bit, but you didn't die from it, right? You didn't die. So you ask for help again. Hey, can you help me steer the bicycle a little bit here? He agrees. You bicycle and then he let go. And before you know it, it's 10 meters. Then it's 15 meters. And then it's all the way up the road where you live. You can sit a bicycle on your own. Before you know it, you are down in the grocery store for your mom and dad. And you even bicycle home with two bags full of groceries on your own, uphill, the whole shebang, right? And that can only happen when you fall off the bike and you do it multiple times. So don't be scared about it. Uh, go all in and uh, you're not gonna die from it. So let's get it. Christmas every day, man. Christmas, I don't even know what it is. I can't remember. It's gonna be exciting to see. Oh my God, man. Like, it's crazy hot. Christmas every day for Philip. We love it. Eight boxes of I don't know what. <laughs> but uh, let's figure it out, man. And, uh, <laughs> exciting, right? Exciting. <laughs> cool. It's the cigar room, man. It's the cigar room. Gonna be crazy, gonna be crazy. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? So, uh, just been shooting here uh, a podcast episode. So we're gonna start the, the podcast. So uh, I actually started like uh, two weeks ago about it and and I didn't, I then I needed to move uh, to the new villa and I, a lot of things happened. The things happened to my dad. Uh, and so on. So uh, I was thinking like, okay, now it's the time. We got new furniture in it. We got a nice setup here in, in the villa and it's getting more calm now. So uh, in this episode here of the podcast, I talk about that, how important it is to have a dream and how important it is to actually focus on the dream. Uh, if you're currently depressed or if you are down, feeling down, uh, and you simply have no purpose. It's because you don't have any dreams, right? Uh, you have maybe given up on them and that's fine. That's what these videos are for. So hopefully to get you back on track. When uh, I was depressed, when I was frustrated, when I did a lot of bad things in my life, it was because I had no dreams and I had no goals. I had no purpose. So I was just like this empty shell of some kind of zombie that just commuted back and forth to work all the time, together with all of the other zombies that did nothing with that life because they thought this is my life and they had no dream or no purpose. So listen, if you ever think about that, if you say your dream out loud and maybe your coworkers say, ha, that's never gonna happen. 
right? Forget it. It's not happening. It, it's never going to work for you. It's simply because they gave up on their dream. So they think because you have yours, you can't have it either, right? But, but the reality is, whatever you make it to be, right, is that there is enough money to go around to, for everybody. The way I thought about it, when, when I was, my body was shutting down, when I was in the hospital uh, and my family slapped me in the face and uh, saved me from dying at 27 probably, it gave me a dream and a goal and it gave me a purpose because now I had something to actually go do, right? Now I had a dream to help my family, to give my mom a new car. And now I recently just bought her a brand new Mercedes uh, AMG, AMG red or whatever color it is, can't remember. Uh, and uh, I helped my dad out when he is sick with cancer, right? I gave him a bunch of money and when I went and visited him so he could buy proper food and buy some protein shakes because he can't eat anything uh, because of the, 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 the cancer. So he maybe have a few last month with a good life, right? And for the love of God, if he wants a good red wine or white wine uh, for that protein shake after the meal, then so be it, right? And uh, when my dad's house burned it down, I was able to help him out right, and buy him a temporary apartment with furniture because he lost everything in that fire. right? And that is simply because it all started with a dream to help my family out. right? And I kept writing it down every single day. Every morning, every evening, I wrote it down. I want to help my mom. I want to buy my mom a new car. I want to support my family. I wrote it down every day. So guess what? I were no longer depressed. I woke up before the alarm clock every evening uh, or every morning, I mean, with joy and excitement and be like, oh my God, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to go to this insanely boring work here. But then when I get back, I'm going to work on this shit here. I'm going to make this happen. And now I got a purpose and a dream, right? And listen, guys. This dream became bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And it should also be that for you. And listen, if you were a kid and you dreamt about getting something for Christmas, right? And you said it every day. You said it every day to your parents. I want a bike. I want a bike. I want a bike. You said it to your friends. You said it to your family, your whole family, your grandparents, everybody. I want a bike. I'm getting a bike for Christmas. You said that for four months straight. And guess what? You got the bike, right? Because you kept saying it and you kept your focus on it and you would pro probably do whatever it takes to get that bike for Christmas, right? And you got it. So dream big and keep your focus on that one dream. Let's get it. Hey, what's up guys? So we're about to finish up the day here. Just been up uh, and working out here at the villa. We have a little gym upstairs and uh, we literally have been running around like madmen today uh, me and Nick here and uh, just shooting a bunch of awesome content for you guys and hopefully you uh, got a lot up, out of it and hopefully you learn a bunch of it and uh, we gonna the plan is to shoot one of these videos and put it out on YouTube every single day and we're gonna do it for a month so you can see what's really going on here and uh, you can see here, not only are we going to make more money, but we're also going to put on some muscle. A lot of things have been going on here and uh, we've been, as I said, just running around. So we haven't been eating properly. We haven't uh, been working out properly. We have been out eating a lot of uh, <laughs> good food here in Dubai with advisors and the designers and uh, uh, my girlfriend and, and so on. So it's about to get back on track here. Right, Nick? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, um, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, then uh, just remember one thing, right? Uh, we just had Haley here, one of our students. She hit $100,000 in just eight weeks. And listen, that is, for some of you, unreachable, you think, because you have a limited mindset. But Haley, she did the number one rule for success. 
she kept showing up. Check on our Schwarzenegger, for example, right? He had no special skills. He could barely speak English, but he had a dream and a goal, and he just kept his focus on it. And look at him now. Dwayne Johnson, he were nobody, right? And look at him now. He keep showing up, showing up, showing up, showing up. Take me, for example. I have no special skills. I can barely speak English either, but I just kept showing up and showing up and showing up. And look at me now, right? I am here in the big villa here on the palm with private pool, private beach, uh, can order food, it doesn't matter. Uh, I can do whatever I want, pretty much, right? Support my family. And I'm also just showing up. I'm being able to help hundreds of people also change their life. And I can't do that if I didn't show up. If I went out and partied all of the time and uh, took a lot of bad shit and never showed up, none could rely on me. My family couldn't rely on me and especially my students couldn't rely on me either. And then I would not have gotten to where I am because I am mainly here because I know how to get my students results, right? And um, they rely on me. And that's only possible if you just show up. So keep that in mind, write it down. If you have to, number one rule for success, just show up. So listen guys, I'm gonna get my egg whites and oatmeal in a blender after a little uh, post-workout shake here. Uh, and then we see you tomorrow. Let's get it.